Hey everybody, in this video, I just wanted to quickly highlight this new benchmark tool that they've added to Modern Warfare 2 on PC. Uh, this is a really cool new feature that they've added that allows you to easily test your graphic settings uh, and get back a variety of information like the average FPS that you're expected to see, uh, as well as other things like your GPU and CPU utilization of your system. Uh, so this can be a really useful tool if you're messing around with your graphic settings trying to hit a specific frame rate number. Um, it can be found on the main menu under this benchmark button. Uh, when you click into that and click start, it'll kick off about a minute long test. Uh, after that runs, you'll get a summary of performance based on your current graphic settings. Um, the main thing I was interested in with this was the impact of all the various DLSS settings. So I ran through the, all those and got a summary of results, which I'll show. Uh, but first, I'll just kind of run through the test in case you're curious to see what this looks like. Um, if not, you can kind of skip ahead about a minute. All right, so we've completed the test uh, and we've gotten our results back and you can see on average, I'm getting 153 frames per second currently. Um, below that, you can see the GPU and CPU utilization. Uh, the bottleneck numbers here are kind of interesting. Uh, depending on what settings you're using, these numbers will move up and down depending on what's being used more. Uh, so that can be kind of fun to play around with. On the right, you have your system information. So these are just all my system specs, uh, my monitor, my CPU and GPU that I'm using. Um, what's kind of interesting is this render resolution. So for this particular test, I'm using DLSS in performance mode. Uh, depending on what setting that is, this render resolution will be bigger or smaller, which is kind of interesting to look at. Um, and then other bottlenecks like your total RAM used and VRAM used. So. Um, one other thing worth mentioning is I currently have all of my general graphic settings set to low because I'm trying to get as much FPS as I can. Um, but you can sort of play around with those, you know, raising and lowering those to see what impact it has to FPS if you're trying to get that balance of like high FPS and the best quality you can get with a frame rate that you're happy with. Um, as mentioned, my curiosity with this was kind of the impact of all the various DLS settings. So I ran through all of those. Uh, so we'll take a look at that next to see what the impact of all of those are. So real quick, just to show you where the DLSS settings are, if you're not familiar, uh, under your graphic settings, you want to go to quality. Uh, and then under upscaling and sharpening, that's where you would choose uh, DLSS. I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm using DLSS. Um, and then below that is where you find the various presets. So uh, there's ultra performance. You can see the descriptions there on the right, performance, balanced, and quality. And then if you don't want to use it at all, you can just turn it off, and that's just going to be your standard. Okay, so now looking at some actual results and comparing the various settings, I ran through each one, uh, got the results back, took a screenshot of this page, uh, and we can take a look at those. Um, I did this with all my software closed, so I'm not having OBS recording like I am right now, which is going to improve the performance numbers a little bit. So starting off as sort of a baseline, I have DLSS completely off, as you can see here under the upscaling and sharpening settings, um, and that's giving us 155 frames per second. Um, if we scroll down with DLSS on with ultra performance, that's jumping my FPS all the way up to 171. Uh, with DLSS performance mode, that's 165 frames per second. Um, you can also kind of look at like the bottleneck numbers and things like that, which is are kind of interesting. Um, with the balanced mode of DLSS, that is back kind of with it off at 157 frames per second. And then the last setting is quality. So that's more focused on image quality and that's dropping the FPS actually lower than having DLSS completely off at 145 frames per second. So um, me personally, I have DLSS on on performance mode. So that is this one. Um, my monitor is 144 
uh, FPS refresh rate. So um, I don't really need anything higher than that. And so you sort of get, it's sort of that balancing mode of um, how much image quality do you, do you want to sacrifice for FPS. So um, this is what I'm currently using. Um, again, this is going to be very dependent on your own particular system. Um, so, you know, take a look at this tool, play around with the graphic settings. Uh, and I think it's a really easy, useful way of, you know, trying to hit uh, performance targets based off what graphic settings you're using. So um, thanks for watching and we will see you later. Bye.